Hi, I'm Walt. This is Ken. We're from Do-It-Yourself Pest Control. And we're going to talk a little bit about mosquito control. Ken, would you agree with me if we ask somebody when they come into the store or they call on the phone and they have mosquitoes, first question is where the standing water is? And everybody says, there's no standing water in my, around my house. And, and there very well might not be, but chances are there are. It could be a gutter. It could be a drain. So uh, that's the first step, and, and when we find standing water, of course, if, if we can, we dump it out. If we can't, we'll use some of the products like mosquito bits. I like mosquito bits a lot. The bits are real useful when you've got uh, some small pockets of standing water that you need to treat. Uh, that has a bacillus uh, base, so it, uh, it basically destroys, it's an organic product, yeah. it destroys the mosquito larvae, and uh, it's uh, safe for they even use it in bird baths and things like that. Fish ponds, it's not toxic at all. Really good product. Uh, for larger areas, we, we go with a, a product called uh, Altacid on there. Uh, that would be for large, shallow areas. And that yeah. works on the, the stomach of the larvae, yep. basically. Basically, it prevents those larvae from so, ever maturing. So, in, so. In a lot of cases, if you do that, you, you won't need any of this stuff. I mean, these are in, these are insecticides. We do have a, a green product, Ecovia, made by Rockwell Labs. That's a, that's a really good one. Uh, doesn't last that long, but a lot of people are going that way. There's a hundred mosquito companies out there right now that they use different equipment. They use different sprayers, backpack sprayers. There's several different models you can do. Uh, this happens to be one of our best. It's called a BNG backpack sprayer. It fits really nicely on the back. Now, what do we put in it? What's our most common well, one? For years, it's been Bife and IT. That's been the gold standard for the industry. It, it's, it's economical. Really? It, it works. I mean, you should get maybe two to three weeks. Where, where you want to treat it would be in the areas where there's heavy foliage. Uh, and that, the heavy foliage could be uh, uh, ground cover, ivy, not necessarily grass, but uh, small trees, uh, shrubs. We, we, we do like to be careful when we're treating, and I can go up, we'll go over application later, but we, I like to be careful when treating, especially with flowers. Mm -hmm. Why? Honeybees. Yeah, honeybees, honeybees bumblebees. Bumblebees, butterflies, uh, all the pollinators. Yeah. If you can stay away from blooming plants, um, that's great. And we also tell people to spray late in the day so that, uh, that it has you know, the bumblebees and the honeybees and everybody's going home for the night. Yeah, and as the summer goes on, I mean, we're midsummer right now, uh, most of the flowers have fallen off, so it's a little safer to, to treat. Um, but the bifens a standard on there. Now, there's been a lot of new products that have come out that include some of the growth regulators. Ken, you want to explain? Why we do growth regulators? Well, growth regulators are an interesting chemical. They're not really poisonous. They, uh, they're a hormone or a synthetic hormone, uh, and they basically keep immature insects from becoming mature. Um, that's really useful with mosquito control because when you're treating foliage and vegetation, the mosquitoes that are resting on that vegetation, especially the female mosquito, will pick up that chemical on their, on their legs and their feet when they land in the standing water to lay their eggs that are not viable. And, and essentially when you're using a growth regulator, the exciting thing about it is that you, you get to treat the, the neighbor next door. Exactly. Their, their water that you can't normally just go over there and treat or across the street. Exactly. Maybe they got a wheelbarrow or something and you're not in good terms with them. So uh, let the mosquito carry the growth regulators on there. So n normally uh, a lot of people will mix the uh, the two, like they will use uh, something like Pivot, or these are basically the same products right here. They, they will use that end of the bifen. Or lately, there's been a lot of products that have come out with, uh, with it already in it, in micro encapsulated, with a, a different product, uh, an upgrade from bifen. And I, I would, you want to tell them a little bit about Proflex? Proflex is a really good product. It's the first. Um, and, and, and this one too. Yeah, one um, bar. They're very similar. They're similar products. They both contain Lambda Cyhalothrin, which is a, a, a chemical similar to Bifen. They're in the same chemical family. Uh, Lambda's really, really effective. Uh, but they've got uh, uh, growth regulators in mixed already in the formula, so you don't have to buy them separately. Um, the uh, the 
ProFlex in particular is interesting because it's the first product to come along with a micro encapsulated growth regulator. They, they last longer. They just last longer and, and we think they're going to be really good. They're relatively new so uh, we're, we're kind of you know have a, a wait and see attitude but they look like they're really going to be they, good. They're a little bit more a little bit more pricey but uh, for me and my, my house I, I don't want to do this every other day. I'm, I'm going to go with the best material uh, but uh, later we'll show some application equipment and thank you very much for joining us.